What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that Idly Land Daily Boxing Talk, people. And today we talking Crawford, KO's Brook, then calls out Pacquiao for next fight in 2021. All right, y'all, so I just got done watching Turns Crawford versus KO Brook, and it was a doozy, okay? I've been waiting for this fight for a while, man. Ever since it was announced, you know, I was uh, highly, highly anticipating this fight. I wanted to see what Terrence Crawford really has to offer as a as a fighter. And I wanted to see if Kel Brooks still had anything left in the tank. And uh, first off, let's give uh, praise to both of these fighters, man. These guys are warriors. They go in there. They risk their lives to entertain us, the common folk. So take my hat off to both fighters. <clears throat> Take my hat off to Kale Brook, man. I'm still a fan, even though he lost. You know, no shade thrown to a Brook, man. Uh, the only thing I will say is I heard a guy, you know, I post stuff on Facebook on my uh, Facebook page, man. Go follow me. Uh, Cardinal Red does it all. I'm on Facebook, so check it out. But uh, I posted something, and a guy put up a comment, man. I wish I knew his name. I would shout him out, but I don't. I can't remember at the moment. But he said, you know, Brook is a damaged fighter. And most of the time when I hear people say, uh, a boxer is a damaged fighter I kind of don't pay it any attention Just because that's, that's something people use To downgrade certain fighters You know And uh, what I will say is All fighters are damaged fighters You know this is the fight game This is the, the sport of hurt You know this is what these people do On a daily basis So I would say all fighters are damaged fighters But the one thing I will say about Brooke Is I think the Golovkin fight played a role in in the Crawford fight I think the Spence fight played a role in the Crawford fight and I think <clears throat> what really happened because if you watch the fight you saw Brooke after he got hit the first time he said what happened and as soon as I seen him the him mouth those words I knew the fight was over and this is before Crawford even KO'd him this is right before he KO'd him he got hit he fell into the ropes he said what happened I said oh boy it's over because when when a fighter says something like that, that means they blanked out for a second. And <clears throat> if you saw the punch, it really it was a good punch, but it didn't look like a, a knockout punch because Brooke kind of fell into it. I'm thinking maybe Brooke has some type of I won't call it brain damage, but there there's some type of damage that he sustained during one of those fights, probably when he broke his orbital bone. That is uh, maybe. That might have made him pass out, you know, while he was, you know, he and he was having good success. I just think he might have blanked out for a second, got caught with that punch, fell into that punch, as, as a matter of fact, and the fight was over. Taking nothing away from Crawford. I'm not taking anything away from Crawford. I'm making an excuse to say Crawford doesn't deserve his victory or he, he's, he's not a good fighter. I'm just saying you could tell, and at this point, this is one fighter, I will say, was damaged goods you know there was obviously something wrong with Kell Brook he was in phenomenal shape <clears throat> looked awesome but there's there's something wrong with Kell Brook you know and hey take my hat off steal the Brook take my hat off the Crawford now let's move into the rest of the topics of the of the of the night man okay so Basically, Terrence Crawford just destroyed Kell Brook. You know, it was it was a uh, it wasn't. I, I take that back. He didn't destroy him. Brook looked great for two and a half rounds, and he I don't know, like he said, what happened. <laughs> he got hit, and I guess you know it was just over. So I think we need to move on from there. You know, Terrence Crawford did his job. He went in there. He showed. He proved. He uh, silenced all the haters, the doubters. He he is a great boxer. Let's not take anything away from Crawford. But what I will say is this. Uh, he didn't look as spectacular as they're making him seem that he is. You know, those first two rounds were extremely slow. I, I, I give it to him that he uh, he has coming off an 11-month layoff and... That you know all this stuff that's going on in the world might have played a role in why he started so slow, but he he still there's there's still something missing. This I, I'm, and I can't place my finger on what it is. It's just a, a wow factor, you know. It, it didn't the 
it, the, the way the, the fight played out, it, it, it didn't wow me completely. What Tiafima Lopez did wowed me. You know, what, um, what, what Crawford did was, you know, he, he did his job, basically. And f now they're calling out Pacquiao, they're calling out Spence. Bob Earm went on his tirade saying that uh, Terrence Crawford could beat Earl Spence and Danny Garcia in the same night, which is laughable. You know, no fighter could could go through that, could sustain the type of uh, punishment in in one night. You know, Earl Spence is a spectacular fighter. Danny Garcia is a great fighter. You know, Terrence Crawford's a great fighter, a spectacular fighter. But there's no way he can beat the, both those guys in the same night. Uh, as far as should Pacquiao fight Spence, I mean uh, Crawford next. Here's here's my take, man. You know, and I've been saying this for a while. I I don't think. It's fair to Manny Pacquiao to have to fight both of these guys. You know, Manny Pacquiao's 42 years old. These guys are in the prime of their careers. Manny Pacquiao shown and proved all this time. Why should he have to keep showing and proving when he's already a legendary fighter? These guys have to show and prove. These guys should be fighting each other. Winner should get Pacquiao. That that's just how it should play out. That's that's that that would be perfectly fair now is this the 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 game or the sport of fairness it's not you know it's uh where's the money at can you win let's get it on you know then and, and that's how it's, it's probably going to play out i'm i'm unfortunately here's here's the thing about terrence crawford and bob Earl and top rank boxing there's no other welterweights on top rank boxing worth a dam you know <laughs> And no, nobody over there is worth wor worth anything, you know, except for Terrence Crawford. He's a, a, a exceptional fighter. Uh, but the thing about it is, everybody, they're, all the welterweights are at PBC. So Earl Spence technically doesn't even have to fight this guy ever, and could remain a superstar. He could go fight Manny Pacquiao, keep it in house, and you know the world would respect them and love them and no, neither one of them have to fight Terrence Crawford because there's so many fights to be made at PBC. Now is that going to make it good for fans? Does that make these guys uh, legendary fighters if they're avoiding each other? I, I won't say that it's Spence that's avoiding Crawford. The situation is he doesn't have to fight you. There's no incentive other than unifying the titles. He could go make millions of dollars just fighting the guys on pbc you know and it, that's the name of the game is money you know I, I i'm starting to think these guys don't care about these belts they don't care uh just receiving one belt's enough for some of these guys you know and the, and the and the status they receive after that is enough for some of these guys so the the point i'm trying to make is terrence crawford is 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 going to have to make some type of decision whether he stays on top rank or whether he decides to um not try to play the a side because the unfortunate thing for him is like i said before they don't have to fight you you're you're on a, a promotional company unfortunately that has nothing that has no bargaining chips except for you so at the end of the day they just don't have to fight you uh will will that fight happen will pacquiao fight terrence crawford as his next fight in 2021 i don't think so and and i hope he doesn't you know if it happens i'm gonna be happy as a fan i'll be happy as a pacquiao fan as just a fan of boxing period but the reason i'm, I'm gonna say this again the reason i'm saying i hope he doesn't is because pacquiao is the legend these guys are the legends in making let them prove themselves and then go fight the legend and if the legend wins he becomes his legend becomes even bigger if he loses it's just a passing of the torch you know it, it's not fair for Manny Pacquiao to have to fight both of these guys and I think that's what they're trying to do they're trying to build both of these guys both companies are trying to build their name off the back of Manny Pacquiao and you know i think pacquiao is setting it up so that he doesn't have to go through that you know he could just go fight your danish you guys and just you know let these guys make their own decision he could go fight mikey garcia let these guys make their own decision 
and and in a year from now, you know, Terrence Crawford's only getting older. Uh, Earl Spence is a little younger than him. Terrence Crawford's only getting older. So if Manny Pacquiao can remain in the same condition that he is, it doesn't matter if he fights him or not. It doesn't matter if he fights Spence or not. You know, he's still going to have that legendary name. They can't take that away from him unless they beat him. And that's his bargaining chip. You know, Spence has a bargaining chip. He's on PBC Boxing. You know, they have great welterweights over there. You know, he has a bargaining chip. Terrence Crawford has no bargaining chips other than ESPN saying that he's the greatest fighter in the world. Which, I'm going to be honest with you. From what I saw tonight, awesome fighter. Take nothing away from him. But he's not the pound for pound. In no way is he the pound for pound king. Canelo Alvarez is is the best fighter in the world. We can't take that away from him. He is the best fighter in the world. And Teofimo Lopez is making a great stance for why he is a good uh, should be on that list and closer to the top because of the accomplishment that he made. Now, yeah, Lomachenko might have been hurt, but take nothing away from him. He won the fight. Unfortunately, he made a statement by beating Kell Brook, but Kell Brook is who he is, so the statement is not that big in my eyes. It's a good statement. You made a stance. You proved yourself, but fighting Spence would be the biggest statement he could make. Fighting Pacquiao would be the biggest statement he, he could make. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, and there's a few other guys out there. Let's not just leave this at Pacquiao and Spence. You know, there's... There's Thurman, there's uh, um, Porter, you know, um, there's, uh, he he, is, he hasn't even beaten a, a caliber of a, a Adrian Broner, you know, and I would put Kell Brook right above a, an Adrian Broner. So I think his next step up would be a Thurman, a Porter, a Pacquiao, a Spence. And I don't want to ramble on too long, man, but, you know, these are my thoughts and this is how I feel about Terrence Crawford and, and, and what he, what he just accomplished and what he wants to accomplish in the future. Uh, if he pulls it off, you know, I have no reason to deny calling him the, the pound for pound king. But at the moment, I don't see him as the pound for pound king. I don't see Spence as the pound for pound king. I give that to Canelo Alvarez and Canelo Alvarez only at this, mo- at this point. Uh, and do I think he deserves a Pacquiao fight? You know, him and Spence deserve a Pacquiao fight. You know, they're the two best welterweights out there. Uh, but I, 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 here's the thing. I don't want Pacquiao. I don't want these guys to ride Pacquiao's back into superstardom. Let these guys fight each other and prove themselves to the rest of the boxing world. Then give us the super fight of all super fights. You know, they, they would have unified belts. There's one more belt out there that Pacquiao holds, which wouldn't, and, and Pacquiao holds all the keys to you know uh fame and pay-per-view numbers and all this stuff it's it's a fight that deserves a crowd you know with all this stuff going on we don't need to see this fight without people being there you know it it's something that should be held as as pacquiao's outgoing fight it should be his retirement fight it shouldn't be the next fight we see to me let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. What did y'all think about the, the fight we just saw? Terrence Crawford versus Kell Brook. What do you think about Bob Arum and Terrence Crawford calling out Pacquiao and Earl Spence? But Terrence Crawford was mainly calling out Pacquiao. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like button for me. Please subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell your dog, auntie, uncle, cousin. Somebody in another country, man, that you talk to on Skype. <laughs> Let them know about Ali Lamb Boxing Talk. Cardinal Red does it all. Please subscribe, like, uh, once again. And uh, believe in yourself, man. Follow your dreams. Your dreams can come true. It's your boy, Cardinal Red. We out of here. I've been watching.